In the shooter ready or not, you have access to the latest modern technology that real SWAT units would use. This includes firearms such as the HK416, used by over 40 special operations units, the armor-piercing FN57, and the venerable AR-15. Full semi-automatic. So how about, instead of using any of those, we instead choose the 357 Colt Python, a double-action, six-shot revolver that was discontinued in 1999, then resumed production in 2020. What could go wrong? They found us! Should've brought- As I mentioned, most revolvers hold six shots. More than enough to kill anything that moves. The problem is, shot placement. It's much easier to shoot multiple rounds of 9mm or 5.56 than it is to land one round of 357 Magnum. Additionally, ready or not levels usually have multiple enemies, and reloading your revolver does not retain the ammo you dropped. Your average cowboy will find himself, more often than not, low on ammo. You're already behind the power curve! Does that matter? No. As your favorite rabbit hunter would say, God created men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. We start our journey at the hospitable 213 Park Homes. As you can see, my previous fastest time was 12 minutes and 8 seconds. I want to be faster. The walk up to the house is usually safe, but once that front door opens, anything goes. Common occupants include crazed gunmen, samurai descendants, and I don't want to do this anymore. That guy. Stay put. <laughs> but normally, a single 357 Magnum puts them down. Normally. As you can imagine, I died a lot. That's challenging when any, ever anything sucks! I like it. The entrance of the house usually contains some. Come out with my secondary weapon system! Civilian or otherwise. It's important to watch your fire, especially with a 357 Magnum revolver. It's also where the first meth package you have to seize is located. This is not meth. The hallway to the left consists of two rooms and a bathroom. It's cramped and can get really hairy. Good shooting will get you through it. And if you suck, you suck. The house continues on the right of the entrance. On the left, there's a hallway with a large room. Good for duels. You're not looking for your optic! And not much else. Get down, I wanna see hands. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! The stairs on the right leading to the second floor is the most dangerous part of the whole map. There's hands a long up. hallway in front of the stairs. And a short hallway behind the stairs. The middle of a Mexican standoff, with no cover. Behind the stairs leads to two rooms and a kid's bedroom. The kid's bedroom and the adjacent room almost always have hostiles. The best solution is to give everyone in the vicinity hearing damage by throwing flashbangs into both rooms. The other side of the second floor contains a large room. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. It's cramped and is very risky to clear. Sound familiar? With that, the house itself has been cleared. What remains is a storage building and rat tunnels. The stairs leads to a house with... Nothing of significance inside. To the left is the storage building. This building is truly messed up. It has two floors and numerous dark corners, 
making it extremely difficult to see people without a flashlight. And in this game, the revolver can't mount a flashlight. Once you clear downwards and reach the basement, you'll find the rat tunnels. It consists of a long winding tunnel with little light and little cover. I really have nothing else to say. It's as bad as it sounds. It's also where the final meth package is located. Collecting evidence. So, with all the challenges of 213 Park Homes, all the dark corners, and crazy murderous meth heads, was I able to persevere, kill the bad guys, and save the day with a 6 shot 357 Magnum revolver? Fuck no, this gun fucking sucks. There are many reasons why most law enforcement agencies have switched to semi automatic pistols. They're light, hold more than 6 rounds, and are ballistically capable in most law enforcement situations requiring firearm response. But revolvers are an important footnote in firearm history, and are undeniably fun. So should you try them? Absolutely. To the town of Alfield, one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make the slip.